Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. We are here to discuss how can we collectively build a greener future by transitioning to, ed to clean energy sources. And without further ado, I would like to pass the floor to our first speaker, Dr. Hafiz and Enbar Wathrish from University of Stanford to share his opinion. Uh, thank you to all of you for being here today. Now, for far too long, we have been dependent on fossil fuels as our main source of energy, and it has been proven to be damaging to our Earth. Therefore, it will be beneficial for us to shift our energy reliance from fossil fuels to greener, cleaner, and much more renewable. And it's, I would like to call upon Chief Operating Officer of TNB, Mr. Bumar Zwang, for a speech in a form of a recorded interview as he was unfortunately unable to join us for the conference today. Good day everyone, here we have Mr. Umar Izwan from TNB to answer some of our green energy questions. Hi, my name is Umar, Umar Rizwan Hawari. I'm the head of power and also head of business governance that covers 10 subsidiaries under Tanaga National Berhad. Our first question to you is, what are the plans and efforts of TNB doing in conjunction with the low carbon mobility footprint? Well, this is a very huge question. There are several parts of it, but let me touch the key parts of them. The first one is actually to reduce the usage of uh, fossil fuel from our generation uh, sources. All right. So the matters about the fossil fuel is actually to reduce that to a certain percentage that we actually gain more energy or electricity from the renewable sources. So our plan is actually to reduce the usage of coal and then replace that, if possible, with hydrogen fuel and also supplement that with renewable, especially in Malaysia, uh, through solar energy. Our next question for you is, the low carbon mobility footprint mainly focuses on the transition to EV. But what are other ways to in increase green energy usage? And is TNB encouraging these methods? Is TNB encouraging these methods? The low carbon mobility footprint, footprint does not only cover the transition to EV, but it is a key part of uh, the Naga initiative to actually drive, all right, uh, to reduce the energy pollution from the ICE car. Uh, ICE stands for Internal Combustion Engine Cars, all right? So there are a few initiatives, key initiatives that we are having with GLAD. Uh, the highway operators, several other highway operators with the islands that we are installing fast DC, this fast DC charger for interstate traveling and also within the island. Okay, imagine we can replace all the motorcycle in the Premkian Island with an EV motorcycle. All right, so you get two a benefit of that in terms of uh, pollutions. The first one, you reduce the pollution in terms of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide relief from the exhaust of the uh, motorcycle. The second one is the island will be relatively quiet because electric motorcycle does not produce noise pollution. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julia and Mr. Omar Rizwan, the Chief Operating Officer from TNB for that informative speech. I hope with what Mr. Omar Rizwan has said, we are able to work with your minds into realizing a greener future. Now, I will begin sharing my input regarding this topic. Picture wind turbines, solar panels, and hydroelectric power plants. Now, what do these three appliances, infrastructures, or objects got to do with realizing a greener future? Um, so basically, these three appliances or infrastructures helped in promoting clean energy. Now, for those who don't know, clean energy in layman terms are basically energy has got zero emissions, do not harm the environment, and are originated from renewable sources of energy, for example, wind, hydropower, and solar energy. Non-renewable energy, particularly fossil fuels, renewable energy is much better as they produce much lesser greenhouse gases. Now, as they produce much lesser greenhouse gases, the, uh, the effect on the environment will be minor when compared to fossil fuels. Now, the implementation of renewable energy sources makes sure that we are on the track of becoming an Earth where a greener future is guaranteed. Thank you to Dr. Hafiz for his sharing. Next, I would like to invite 
I R Butter and his from University Technology Petronas to share the idea about cleaner energy. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Anis from University Technology Petronas. So I would like to share with you guys about my recent research about cleaner energy. Energy is readily available, so I thought it was time for us to invest in renewable infrastructure and get a more sustainable future. Two vehicles to replace fuel star, we can significantly reduce the emissions of air pollutants, and your solar farms and also wind farms in areas with a high renewable energy potential. And we can also build or install the solar of the light and enable the body and our personal home to create our own electricity. Thank you to IR Dr. Anis for the sharing. Lastly, I would like to invite Dr. Hazif from the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation to share his insight. As government representative, we have uh, responsibilities to enact policies that support the transition to cleaner energy. Along with the Sustainable Development Goal 7, which is affordable and clean energy, we must provide incentive for businesses and individuals to adopt renewable solutions. This can be done with the establishment of renewable energy targets, free tax incentive for clean energy investments, and also foster collaboration between the public and private sectors to drive innovation and implementation. Awareness campaigns can be conducted as a way to encourage more people to join and support the implementation to transition into the clean energy. Together, we can make a significant impact on our environment. Let's build a brilliant future with cleaner energy. As we come to this close of conference, I am filled with hope and inspiration the discussion we have had, the ideas we have shared, and the connections we have made have all reinforced our collective commitment to building a greener future with cleaner energy. Thank you for attending this conference. Everyone may need this list. As communities and nations unite in their commitment to cleaner energy, a greener future becomes a reality. Our cities become beacons of sustainability, offering a healthier planet for generations to come. <laughs>